What's going on YouTube? We got another kick here. And if you continue on with me throughout the videos, um, basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking a sneaker most of you are interested in, if that's why you clicked on this video. And I'll be doing my own personal review on it, giving you some details, explaining what kind of textures are on the sneaker, I'm just speaking to be honest. Um, so, well, without further ado, everybody, let's not waste your time. Get what we do. Get into what you wanted to see. So today we have, if you guys don't know from this box or from the title of the video, we got a pair of off-white dunks in the UNLV colorway. Head, break this out, and let's see what we got. I'll give you guys a little history lesson. So, on the medial side, of course, Virgil's standard off white logo switched up for the dunks. We got official Nike tag zip tie. Off-white zip tie, sorry. Um, this one's pretty stiff. Really stiff, actually. This is like an actual zip tie. We got some high-quality leather here. This leather on this shoe is very, very soft. I can see um, some people ruining these by wearing them like monsters and creasing the crap out of them. Standard dual-tone outsoles, double lacing system that everyone was so questioned about. The double lacing system also has these wax tips at the end. Actually says shoelaces as well. I'm assuming, oh, some leather on the tongue, nice. I'm assuming that there's shoelaces, yes. There states shoelaces on the factory shoe lacing. Standard made in China tags that he puts on most of his sneakers. Deconstructed tongue, uh, standard dunk low, Nike in the back. Apparently you can lift this up. It's not like the desert or that actually has any numerical values under it. You got that off-white sole insert in there. Standard off-white check with its tab. Well, let's see something here. So for most of you, you're probably either here for the hype, you may know some history behind it. So let's break it down. The Nike Dunk basically is, let's call it the cousin to the Air Jordan 1. Um, the Dunk came to the market for college basketball. Uh, it, use, it always sets up with these two color tone outsoles. They usually made them back in the day for schools, um, basically the most prestigious schools. Then in the 90s, I guess, I was born, so I don't know too much, just information. Uh, it came in back as a skate shoe, which I, that's when it blew up. Um, it always has these flattened tongue and basically just they used to be really exclusive as you can tell this year will be the year of the dunk I don't care what anyone says dunks this year if you are not getting them at these prices now you are going to be kicking yourself in the arse because these prices will only rise um, back to the story I guess you could say so dunks came out in lows then they came out with highs for general releases for everybody that couldn't always get into the lows um that's when nike made their official naming nike sb so basically nike skateboard dunk and it basically that sneaker the dunk is where collaborations really took off 
Uh, they make special editions, uh, custom colorways, sport wear. They were always working with different types of creators like Undefeated, Stussy, um, and even with Air Force. They were doing some Air Force One mixes. Um, but still, the Dunk traditionally were always low. Uh, they weren't always in high demand, of course, now since we got all these collaborations and Virgil's basically one of the, if not the top creator right now. Um, this sneaker here is the Dunk UNLD. And they actually had a high version of this. Um, I guess most people would like highs better. I personally, I don't have a preference. As long as it looks good, it looks good. Um, the original, you know what? Let me not get too detailed in here. Um, just hoping you guys like to see this sneaker. For most of you that couldn't get it, this was pretty limited. Um, I saw somewhere that I think there were 30,000 pairs of each colorway, and there were three colorways that dropped. We have the Michigan, UNLV, and then the Pine Green. So I'm sorry for most of you that couldn't get it. We're stuck to paying resale. And for now, this will be the off-white dunk of the beginning of 2020 since it has dropped in December. Um, well, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll be making some more videos along the way. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share these videos, put those post notifications on if you're interested in keeping up with me along the way. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.